Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Thursday, December 14th, and today is an S6 day. The SAT word of the day is dominant, meaning most important or powerful. Today's lunch is meatballs and zesty marinara. On the show today, we have a story. Now sit back and relax because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the show. I'm Alessandra Varon. And I'm Ryan Crowley. Come join the NHS Library ladies for Miss Goss's final book club. We will be discussing The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein next Wednesday during all three lunches. Snacks will be provided. National Honor Society applications are due Friday, December 22nd at 11.30. Please see Ms. Newman with any questions. The health offices will be conducting screening for the entire ninth grade class. Please keep all visits to the health office emergency and scheduled visits only. Next up, sophomore reporter Dan Gruber introduces us to a nonprofit organization that gives puppies away for free to individuals with disabilities. Let's take a look. Local nurse Pauline Hegler is known to help people in the Nord community, but what she's really known for is training golden retrievers. I've been breeding dogs for about 20 years, training dogs for about 20 years, and have had a doggy daycare for about 20 years. So it's finally just got to the point where my nursing <laughs> and um, where my nursing and dog training have come together. Hegler recently started Golden Opportunities for Independence, a nonprofit organization that pairs yeah. service dogs with local residents good, in need. Good. We breed, raise, and train golden retrievers for um, people with disabilities. We service our community with these dogs and we utilize our community to help raise and train them. Sunshine, come on puppies. Three month volunteer coordinator Tom Smith Sunshine. says that Golden Opportunities on, trains dogs to help people with a variety of yeah, medical Sunshine. conditions. Tom also struggles with some physical issues of his own. However, that does not impact his love for the job. Rewarding, I mean, you know, who doesn't like puppies, right? And, you know, when you see some of the, you know, really medically challenged folks that come in here and the effect that these puppies have on them, I mean, it, it'll just bring tears to your eyes. And Tom isn't just a typical volunteer, he's also a client. The couple adopted a pup after his wife was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a neurodegenerative disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord. Well, it was uh, kind of interesting. Golden Opportunities had a batch of puppies out at the fire department, you know, just doing kind of like, you know, socialization. Um, and I flipped through it, but one of the tags they had was ALS, and that's when my wife was just freshly diagnosed. So I just immediately, you know, took a quick look at it and says, well, I'm just going to apply. And I did, and the timing was, was just perfect. And Although both Pauline and Tom say working at Gofi can be difficult at times, the end goal is what makes it worthwhile. I mean, it takes a lot of money for, you know, feeding, for, you know, vet bills, for, you know, the puppy pads. Um, so, you know, constantly, you know, trying to raise funds to make sure you have the necessary, um, you, you know, equipment and, and materials on hand to, you know, do a good job. Um, volunteers, you know, a lot of people like the cute factor, but, you know, the reality is when you have to start, you know, getting dirty and cleaning up dog poop and whatnot, it's sometimes it's not as pleasant as, you know, you see on Facebook. So as much as you raise them, you train them, you know in the back of your head that, um, they're not going to be with you forever, but um, it's definitely bittersweet. And so that's my goal, is to get it so that when we're standing in a room, the puppy will go to, or the dog will go to their recipient, as opposed to me. And then I know it's not my dog anymore. <laughs> For more information on the organization and what you can do to help, check out www.gofydog.org. Reporting for Muslim Magazine, I'm Dan Gruber. Thanks, Dan. For more stories like that, check out Mustang.media. Friendship Club will be hosting their holiday card-making meeting today. Please bring your annual $1 dues if not already paid. During all three lunches, the Spirit Club will be selling candy canes for $1. They will be delivered next Tuesday. All proceeds to support Globe Santa. The last day to buy one is today. Student Council will host NHS's Got Talent for any students interested in showing off their talents and competing for a prize. Those interested must submit an audition live or submit a video of their performance to NHSStuco at gmail.com. Live auditions will take place next Wednesday after school in the cafeteria. Please sign up with a student council officer, Ms. Curtin, or Ms. Notabart. Now here's Joe Spadorsho with your sports update. 
Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Joe Sproshi with your Sports Update. Yesterday, wrestling lost to Wellesley while boys hockey opens up their season with a 2-2 tie against Milton with goals from Brandon Walsh and Sean Renault. Girls hockey starts off their season with a 7-5 win over Framingham with Maggie Curran scoring her first varsity goal. For games today, track has a meet against Walpole. Finally, be sure to go to the Chateau today to help girls basketball. You must have the flyer in order to get 20% of your bill donated to the team. Well, that's all I have for today. Now back to the desk. Well, that's all we have for today as well. Be sure to check us out on Mustang.media or hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Have a great day, Mustangs.